everyone, I'm Janam Sandhu and I'm here presenting the most highly requested course that is Lean Six Sigma White Belt. So when I say that it was the most requested course is was that I was getting emails every day asking the candidates who were asking for this course that is the basics of Lean and Six Sigma. So I welcome you to join uh, with me to in this journey of Lean and Six Sigma. So let's begin, it's just an introduction part. So this course is a starting point of a never ending Lean Six Sigma journey, which is a quality improvement technique useful in improving businesses, processes, products, services and customer relationships. So ideally the end goal of learning understanding and implementing Lean Six Sigma is to develop products and services which are defect free, waste free and variation free. So when I say defect free, waste free, variation free, I would be taking up all these terms and we would discuss them in detail throughout this course, right? So if our products and services are actually waste free and defect free. So this means that this ultimately leads to greater profits and customer retention, which is the ultimate goal of each and every organization because this is what they want, right? So with this course, you will take your first step and begin your continuous improvement journey. So continuous improvement journey, PDCA, Deming cycle, Shuar cycle, I would be taking up all these things in this course. So you do not, you need not have to worry. So when I was curating this course and I was deciding that what kind of course I want to develop so that it forms a basic level of each one and they understand what exactly is the Lean and Six Sigma, I thought that it is not only about PPT, screenshots and just giving definitions of Lean and Six Sigma. Because you know most people think that Lean Six Sigma it's just the definitions and some basic points. But I really thought that it should be beyond that. Because ultimately I wanted that candidates who enroll for this course should have knowledge that is what are the actual concepts of Lean Six Sigma and they should be able to just implement certain tool, basic tools and can become a productive employee or a business process owner or a, part, a productive team member. So my job through this course would be to empower leaders of tomorrow who will be the innovators. Now when I say innovators, actually innovators are people who can think about like what their product should be next two years, four years, ten years and they should know what their customer requirements would be, who can think ahead of the time, right? So actually when we learn about these concepts, these techniques, these would help us to know what would be the demand of the market, what would be the demand of the customers and actually they are the people who even create the products and services which become the need of time which nobody would have thought. So these are the innovators in the true sense and have power to transform any organization. So now coming to what is Lean Six Sigma, actually it's a combination of two strategies that is Lean and Six Sigma, both falling under the umbrella of quality improvement. So if we talk about some time in 2000s, 2005, both these techniques were taught individually. They weren't considered one. But later on, it was felt that they are two parts of the same coin. So we started teaching Lean and Six Sigma together because ultimately the aim of both these techniques was to reduce variation and defects and to improve the products and services. So in this course, you will learn about important methodologies, tools, concepts that must be thoroughly understood to begin applying this strategy. So we will start with the basics first, that is what is an overview of Lean and Six Sigma? What is the belt system? That is what are, who are the people who are white belt, yellow belt, green belt, black belt? What are their qualifications and what kind of knowledge they should have? And then I would be talking about evolution of Lean and Six Sigma. And I will tell you about this thing by using a, a, a technique which I call March of Quality. And then we would be talking about benefits of Lean and Six Sigma, that why companies globally are so interested in applying this strategy into their businesses and processes. 
सो यू नो इन मोस्ट डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज एंड बिग कंपनीज 100 परसेंट वर्क फोर्स इज एटलीस्ट लीन सिक्स सिग्मा वाइट बेल्ट सर्टिफाइड सो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ दिस कॉन्सेप्ट एंड दिस स्ट्रैटेजी फ्रॉम दिस परस्पेक्टिव so then we will be taking some detailed topics this list is very short but i have covered a lot of topics and you can check detailed syllabus for that so we would be talking about six sigma methodology dmac and dmap processes standard deviation 1.5 sigma shift three categories of work which is a lean concept and again forms of waste a lean concept concepts of muda muri and mura pdca seven quality tools 5s system and many other quality tools like kanban and uh, vision vis uh, visual boards process improvement techniques so this list is quite large that's why i didn't mention it over here but you can check the detailed syllabus and you will know what other tools i would be discussing here so this list is really large so finally i would like to end the introduction part by telling you who exactly needs this course so the course is for candidates who have little knowledge of six sigma or lean it's ideal for engineering and business graduates freshers applying for job or people who want to start quality improvement journey you know because as i've already discussed that if you actually start implementing lean and six sigma your business and processes will improve there would be no defects no variations which ultimately means that you have better customer relationship better customer retention and more profits since there are no defects no waste so it ultimately leads to more profits and if this is your goal this is the right course for you and you should just join this course thank you